What's up y'all? Today we're making a beat 90s style. The Boom Bap era. The Wu-Tang Clan. Pete Rock and DJ Premier. New York. The Bronx. Uh, Halal Carts. I'm not from there. Anyways, if you really want to make it authentic, you're going to use one of these or one of these. But we don't do that here. Mainly for budgetary reasons. So let me show you how you can do this in the modern era. The main theme in 90s hip hop was sampling. No synthesizer, no instruments. They just had old records that they were listening to. They took parts out of it, the drums, the melodies, whatever sounds they wanted to use for the beat, and they chopped it all up. And we will try to emulate these sampling techniques. First of all, you need an old record that you want to take your samples from. Here's the sample of today. So as you can see here in orange, I cut some parts out of the sample. These long chords that I really like. And I think they can easily be manipulated and rearranged so that we can create a new beat. But first of all, most importantly, we gotta do the drums. I chose this drum sample. It's very important you pick a good sounding drum loop that you already like it can only get better from there you know so when going into an audio clip in ableton you can place these markers over here and when you're done marking them you just go right click and sample onto a new midi track select warp marker so it's going to select the ones that you chose here and hit ok so now you're going to have in a new midi track all the slices that you selected that you can play now individually and by playing these slices, you're gonna create your new beat. So here you see me trying out all the different drum chops. I did record it on the MIDI controller, but I went in after to fix the timing of the different chops. I'm not that good of a finger drum player. The drum sounds nice. It just, it just have to pass this test. If your drums make you go like this, you're good. <laughs> Now that we got our drum loop, our foundation, we can add the sample chops from the old record. I put the different chops in the sampler, but I also pitch them way down. These sample chops now sound super chill. I just have to find a good pattern in which they will form a good loop for this beat. Let's try it out. Okay, we're getting somewhere. We got our main loop for this beat now. For the bass, I'll be using a VST called Scarby Rickenbacker Bass. It's a contact library. Definitely get this one. It's a great guitar VST for bass guitars. Okay, let's record in the bass. already sounds really good but I want to add one more element imagine the video for Englishman in New York I want this last element to have the same vibe to it this old-school New York jazz sound I think a sax sample would be perfect I probably have some in my library or in my drum kits yeah something like that I'm gonna slice up the parts of the saxophone that I like and then I'm gonna play it again through the sampler again slice into a MIDI track and now we're probably gonna have the issue that the saxophone sample is not in key so you have to try out different pitches of the sample to see which one fits like the harmonic bass that you've constructed with your other sample so not this one this one kind of works. Let's add some reverb to this saxophone. Woo. 
Okay, so I chopped up different parts of different saxophone one shots that I had. Yeah, let's play it over the beat. Let's see what we can do. Nothing like a saxophone to really elevate these type of beats. Man, I wish I could play saxophone. It would be so much easier. It's basically really playing around with when the sample chops start and when they end so that the timing fits with the beat. The drum loop, the chords, the saxophone samples, none of these had the same BPM or key or whatever to begin with. It's your job to piece them all together and that's what makes a good boom bap beat. So yeah, I guess we're done with the beat today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.